remember from last time that ceramic is coming back out to you so I can teach you how to paint Zeus number two. <laughs> this is my dog. His name is Zeus. So when I um, when I do his talk about him, I'll refer to him as Zeus, not the concrete statue. <laughs> I'm at Ohio Station Outlets and I'm in unit number 185, which is located in Burbank, Ohio. And you guys, go out to my website. It's awesome. And that's lokceramics.com or lots of not ceramics.com. Either one will take you to my site because I own both names. So that the way you want to type it in works for me. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, you can always call us at 330-948-8100. And you can place orders and you can pick them up at the back door if you don't want to come in because you know of our pandemic. And it would be our pleasure to take care of business before you come. We'll just take it out to your car and put it in your car if that's what you would like to do. But I got a lot of specials too. Check us out on Facebook as well. And that's lots of non ceramics on Facebook, so you have to take it all out. So anyway, this is Zeus, and I got a, a quick picture for you, and this is what I'm using as a reference because this is my baby, and I'm going to paint it to look like him because I've already sold it twice, so if it's, it's not broke, don't face it. <laughs> and I just love him, so we're going to I use this color paint, and it's called Dark Burn Umber. And I really like this dark brown. It's a great paint. It's a great color. I use it for Indian's hair, too. It's perfect for Indian's hair rather than using black. It's so close to black, but it's not. It's brown. And there's a big difference. And I'm going to just put this in a bowl, just a plain empty bowl. And I'm just throwing paint in here. And then I like this paintbrush. You know, any big brown paintbrush would do. But something stiff. Because I'm not going to paint with this. I'm going to, like, dab with this. So that I can make this dog look like my dog. So at the front of my dog's face is this color. So I just kind of go like this. I don't really paint it because I don't want it to be totally solid because sometimes you can see the other color coming through. And one thing that's nice about acrylic paints, don't forget, is that any color will go over the top of any color. So as long as the first color is dry. Otherwise, instead of getting coverage, it just you know, mixes and you get a blend of the colors, which we don't want. And don't mind me why I look at the picture every once in a while, but when you're painting somebody's dog, you got to check out the picture and make sure that you're getting the, the markings of the dog. I don't care about any kind of shading, you know, like that would be in, in these folds here. There may not necessarily be any markings on the dog that I'm painting in these folded areas, but you do have to um, make sure that people can see these folded areas, and I do that with paint also. So whenever I'm painting a dog or a cat or something, I always put the marks that are real on the dog first or the cat. And that way, once I have all that set, then I can go into doing some of the shading, which, you know, don't worry, I'll teach you how to do that. <laughs> but this is going to take, you know, obviously more than one video to get going. But this is, this is like my favorite piece in the store. Why? You know, of course, because it's my dog. And second of all, because it's just magnificent. It's just a beautiful piece. And I have these available. And this one is called a fawn because he doesn't have any of those stripes that you see in the brindles. But I can paint brindle too. Actually, I really haven't found anything that I couldn't paint. And I know that there's been a lot of concrete sales through all of this, which is really wonderful because, boy, that looks so nice in people's yards when you have all that out there and you can see, you know, their concrete. But just remember, too, that if you would like to have your concrete painted, I put a protection on there. That's why the, the bottom of this is white, because there's a protection on there. So the elements outside can't even get to the concrete to do any damage. And then once that's done, then I put my colors on it, which I'm doing now. And I'll show you how to treat it and everything so it helps to protect it from the weather outside. But I'm happy to paint anything. I don't care what I'm painting. As long as I have a paintbrush in my hand, I'm a happy person. <laughs> so if you have something that you bought, you know, recently, concrete, or you have a piece of concrete that's not looking too good because it's been outside and it's just falling apart, I can fix all that too, in most cases. Sometimes they um, need more work than it's worth, so sometimes it's better just to say goodbye. But in most cases, I can fix it, and you know, we can make it look like brand new. And like in this case, you can give me a picture of your English master, and I'd be happy to paint your door. Again, I could do brand new too. This is my baby, and this is what he looks like. And I think I might actually bring him in so you can see him. But I have to have my husband do that because, you know, this dog weighs 200 pounds. I can't get him in the car. <laughs> His ear is all brown, so I'm going to put that all brown. Oh, you can't see it probably. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just tapping this in. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm tapping it in. 
I am all about trying to make it look as real as possible. And, I, and I'll tell you little tricks that I do to make it look real. I, it should never look painted. If it looks painted, then it looks fake. You don't want it to look fake. People do double takes when this dog is painted because they think it's real for a second. It takes them a second to realize that it's not. But my dog's a little bigger than this. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> He's a great dog. That's what I get, that's for sure. And you know, if you overshoot something and you make a little bit of a mess, you can wait for it to dry, because remember, any color goes over the top of any color. And just come back in and touch up where you need to touch up before you go on to the next step. Which I'll do all that on camera. I won't touch this unless I'm on camera so you can see exactly what happens here. And trust me, I'm only human. I make mistakes just like everybody else. Luckily, it's not a whole lot. <laughs> and then his, his goes up this way a little bit, like this. And then down here, I'm crossing it. And I'm filling it all in. I don't want to see any white spots, though. That's really bad, because especially it gets this dark brown. It really shows up, so you don't want to do that. And then it comes down. because that's exactly what he does all the time. And don't forget the drool, you know, I'm gonna teach you how to do that too. Gotta have the drool if you're gonna paint a mask. <laughs> and this here too, oops, this here too is awesome. So I have people when they want me to paint their dogs, they give me you know, like three or four different shots because, you know, maybe your particular animal has a spot right here. Mine doesn't have that, but if yours has a spot right here, I can get that on there so it'll look just like a dog. I try to get it as close to your animal as I can. So far, I've had everybody that got uh, a dog done for me love it, so it's possible. The color has to be perfect, so I need something that has a perfect color. And then the rest of it doesn't matter. I just need to know which one's the right color, and which one are you giving me because of the spots. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.